Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I've got some fun putters that I'm gonna go throw today. We got the lasso from Mint Discs. We got the Sea Otter. We also have the Envy and the Muse. Let's go. All right guys, I have four putters. They're very similar. So we're just gonna go test them out here. Got a nice little 250 foot shot here, dead straight. Let's start with the Muse. All right, that Muse, it just doesn't want to stay in the air too much. All right, this is Mint Disc's lasso. Oh, love that. Man, it's got some stability. Good glide on that. All right, we got the Sea Otter by Wild Discs. Whoa. All right, that thing just goes dead straight. Yank that one. Proton Envy. Yeah, love that stability there. Okay, what better place to try out some putters than on one of Charlotte's hardest courses, Angry Beaver. So based on my initial throws, I feel like the Sea Otter is a little straighter than probably the Muse. Muse doesn't have as much glide on it, so it just kind of sits. And then as far as stability, this Proton Envy and this Lasso are kind of neck and neck at the moment, but let's kind of go in order of stability so let's start with the least stable here nice little sea otter by wild discs yeah see i feel like i can just start that one to the left and it'll drift back a little bit threw it a little too low there all right this muse doesn't want to glide too much so i'm gonna have to give it a lot more height there we go and then it just wants to drop yeah not a lot of glide on the muses let's go with lasso next Oh, a lot of good glide and stability. All right, that thing's surprisingly stable. All right, and then the Envy. Oh, great glide, just wants to stay in the air. Good stability also. All right, so, so far the Mint Lasso has been pretty impressive. I like the stability. The numbers on it are 3302, which I gotta say are really accurate. And this Proton Envy I'm pretty impressed with too. I just love the look of it and the numbers 3302 also are very accurate too. Okay, as far as putting goes, let's give these guys a try. We've got about a circle's edge putt here. Oh, I love that. Okay. Muse. I've tried this as a putter before. I like it's not beadless, but this rim just feels kind of weird to me. I don't know what it is about it. Yeah, it came out weird. And lasso. Hole 18 at Angry Beaver requires a putter placement shot so that you can throw over this little marsh to get inbounds. These putters should be perfect for this. I really think the lasso might be the key to this because this one I can really pump out nice and straight and I know it's going to finish a little to the left, which is what you want. So let's go in order of least stable to most stable. All right, because the sea otter is not quite as stable, I'm going to put this a little bit on a hyzer. Yep, popped up. Got a little finish. That's not bad. Muse is up. Problem with the Muse is it doesn't want to stay in the air. It just wants to dump. So I really got to pump this nice and high. All right, not too bad. All right, Envy, I'm just going to go dead straight flat with it. Perfect. Oh, that's great. All right, now if I can get the lasso to finish a little more to the left, that's perfect. There we go. Oh my gosh. That is in primo position. So Mint Discs has dubbed the lasso as their throwing putter. And I gotta agree. I mean, this thing's got great stability. You can really pump on it. You know it's gonna finish. I feel like those of you who throw the Envy and you're expecting a 3302 and you're not really getting that, I think you might get it out of the lasso. If you guys are looking for a lasso, go to Disc Golf Deals, use my code. Now we're at the 18 short pad just to do a little field work with these things, just to kind of show you the difference in stability. So again, let's do least to most stable. I still think it's the Sea Otter, Muse, Envy, and then Lasso. Here we go, a little bit of turn to the right. And then we got a little tailwind, so it's dropping. There we go. 
Oh, that one got a lift. All right, Muse. All right, Muse, you're proving me wrong. Nice and flat. There's that hookup. And skip. There we go. Hooked up a little quicker. All right, it's a subtle difference, but it's got a little bit more hookup, kind of like a zone does. Not exactly like a zone, but yeah, this is a great throw and putter. The point of this video is to kind of test out this lasso. I've never really tried one before, but man, I'm really impressed with this. And I liked how it kind of stacked up against these. This one really is a true 3302. And this six stamp is available. We got them on Disc Golf Deals USA. You guys can use my code, get 10% off. All right, guys, until next time, peace out.